But um, there was one other thing we forgot, didn't we? One thing we forgot. Should we uh, um, jump, in, jump into the garage a sec? Hmm, yeah, what could it so be? So, auto show. The auto show. Uh, Browse all cars and then. If you. Uh, just search my manufacturer. It's, uh, yeah, down the bottom. Down there. this one. Yeah, that one. Oh, that's it. That uh. was it. How did we forget this earlier? Yes. Um, Mitsubishi is back. Mitsubishi <laughs> is back at the Horizon Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, uh, we were very, very disappointed to not have Mitsubishi for, for launch, um, but worry not. They are back in the game right now. We have seven uh, coming, coming with the update tomorrow. Um, you can see those right there on screen. So, Chris, talk us through. What have we got? So, we've got an Evo 10. Perfect. An Evo 9. Yeah. An Evo 8. And we'll skip one. Evo 6. Uh, <laughs> Mitsubishi GTO, which is like a really cool 90s, really weird tech supercar-y thing. It's all-wheel drive, uh, four-wheel steering, really cool. And a Mitsubishi Eclipse, which people probably know from Fast and Furious. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Galant VR4, which was an early 90s uh, rally car that ran, I think it was one season they did before they changed up for the Evos. So it's a really good selection of Mitsubishis there. Uh, should we take a look at what's coming up today? All right, so first up, we're going to take a look at our brand new take on online adventure, free for all adventure. Then we're going to take a look at what's coming up in the Car Pass in update five. Then I'm going to take a look at all the new feature updates and tweaks, brand new Horizon Story in Aisha's Taxis, and then we're going to have to take a look at what's coming in Series 6 as well, in Update 6, I should say. Um, great. Uh, should we jump right in? Should we take a look at uh, team, uh, Free For All Adventure? I had to catch myself there. <coughs> so Andy, Andy's on the wheel. Uh, Andy, just pause the game and go to the Online Adventure tab. Hit Quick Play, and it'll jump us in. And we won't hit. Brand new, free for all racing, even highlighted with a new flag for <laughs> players who, who are maybe not quite sure. There we go, selected. Great, so uh, it's probably worth, I think, at this point, um, just while that's loading and doing all its online social. stuff. Yeah, which is probably worth mentioning. We are on a development build uh, that does bring with it uh, <coughs> all, all, all manner of uh, possibilities, such as you, you may see you may see some stuff that's not due for release yet. You may we may have a, in, encounter a couple of bugs which we're still hanging out before the, the patch goes live. We're still doing the final phases of testing on this update. Um, while that's while that's just spinning up that session, Matt, there let's you go. and I um, let's talk about Team Adventure uh, and why we ended up in the situation we launched with with Team Adventure. Uh, I think because I think it wasn't just that we wanted to take a feature away from people from the previous game. I think we were coming very much from a place of trying to make it a better online environment. Uh, yeah, and we get a lot of feedback from the players, don't we? And we are always paying attention to what they're saying. And um, we, we identified a few things that we wanted to change about Team Adventure, and that's where we are today. We're here to show you some of the, uh, the fruit of the, the work that's been going on. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think um, you know, we, we'd identified you know, there was a lot of griefing in our previous games, and we thought, well, how can we try and reduce the amount of griefing? Well, if we put you in a team, then well, at least half the people in the race won't grief you. We thought. Um, <laughs> the reality didn't quite was, work out like yeah, the, that, the, the reality of it. The reality was that everyone griefed you just as much. It was just, <laughs> it was just twice as annoying when someone on your own team yeah, was using you to, to break. Help you, yeah, or we, should be trying to help you. <laughs> it's not. Um, and there's, other, there's also the, the situation of you are play, basically playing individually. We've put you with five other people. You win the race. You know, you've done everything you could do, and then you're let down by your teammates. I think that's a. Yeah. A, pretty, a pretty frustrating uh, situation, one that we obviously were aware could happen, um, but I think we felt that the overall more friendly environment that we would build would be for the good. Um, turned out no, we, we were probably wrong with that. Um, and as such, we have now added uh, Free For All Team Adventure, which we are due to take a look at. Andy's on the wheel, so Andy is by far the best racer in the studio, and he's absolutely <laughs> not going to let us down by coming anything other than first place in this. OK, <laughs> pressure's on. <laughs> Especially now you just said that. Oh, it's a good start. You can greet him, by the way. It's, uh, it's free for all, so don't worry about protecting <laughs> yeah. teammates. Oh, <laughs> nearly did. There we go. I think I've got some uh, pretty fierce competition there, haven't I? You field. have. There are some. Yeah, there are some pretty handy drivers in this one. Um, some, some of them we've been spending the, the, the last couple of hours practicing. <laughs> so, uh, they knew Andy would be on cam, and they know that he's a, a, a prize to be beaten. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like uh, the embarrassing feeling of coming second live on stream. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing alright at the moment. You made a little bit of space between third and below. Oh, he's over the oh, corner. Oh. I'm sure you can get him on the inside here. 
I'm going to have to try a bit of a switch back, I think. There we go. Oh dear. <laughs> no, no contact <laughs> was made. It was perfectly clean. We definitely know this was an online race. Yeah. <laughs> If this was pre-recorded, we would have, we would have cut that out. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got a little bit of fresh air, but I know that uh, I know that Matt will be coming up fairly soon, wherever he is. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> the Subaru coping well on this section of dirt, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, good choice. Design, so, yeah. so um, obviously, when we introduced the free for all adventure, we didn't want to. Um, we didn't want to cook it, we wanted to make sure it was fully featured. So, um, so yeah, obviously, as we're in quick play right now, it's, it's fully featured, full set of, full set of playlists, uh, works exactly the way you'd expect. Uh, you know, you've, got, you've got championship cool. scoring. Um, also works uh, completely integrated into ranked multiplayer. So uh, if you're, once, you, once you've qualified through taking part in quick play, you can then take part in ranked. Um, because you're no longer in a team, the rankings will actually uh, update a lot faster and a lot more accurately than in the team races. That's just a a minor uh, added benefit of free for all adventure. So if you really do think you're the best, you'll find out uh, <laughs> fast, sooner rather than later whether you're as good as you think you are. Oh, did Matt crash? I think he might have missed oh, a checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, he's bottled it right at the end. There well we done, go. Andy. <laughs> By default. <laughs> <laughs> a victory's a victory, I'll take it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so is that one out of five? Yeah, yeah, so... Um, as I said, development build. So you may you may see some stuff in this which is uh, not really fit for human consumption. A few a few things that we're not due to show you yet. Yeah. Um, there you go. Top of the championship. We've got we've got the uh, championship scoring system now, rather than the um, sort of out of five system that was in the team based variants. Mm. Uh, tidier penny. Uh, will we get more car storage? Uh, yes. It's in testing right now. It'll be coming soon. It won't. Hopefully, it'll be coming. Prior to update six, we're going to try and drop it in between five and six. Right, what have we got? Yeah, the, the, with the with the car storage thing, it's one of those. It, it affects your the way your save data is stored, which is just an incredibly risky thing for us to update. Um, and we need to make sure it's getting abs the absolute maximum amount of um, test of test of test coverage it can get. And also, we want to release it on its own, its own standalone. So if, if need be, we can we can roll it back or hot fix it rather than to a whole game update. <laughs> okay, so next up, we are now going to check out the upcoming cars in the car pass for this update. So, what have we got, guys? What are we looking at? So, this is uh, the brand new 911, uh, code name 992. Uh, so, this is the Carrera S version of it. Um, this is a really awesome car. Um, so, this is like the base level 911, 444 horsepower, not 60 in like three and a half seconds yeah, there or thereabouts, nice. depending on the options. So, it's a really quick sports car, you know, verging on supercar territory for performance now with the 911s. It's also the first 911 uh, to be turbocharged from from the get-go. Uh, cool. The last generation started on the aspirated, and they, they moved to turbocharging. This one's turbocharged uh, straight away. Yeah, it's crazy. I know. I, I never realised that until you until you told me that just earlier on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In this one, I, I really love that tail light. It's, uh, yeah. it's beautiful, isn't it's it? Super, yeah, super it's nice. Sort of Tron esque. It does, it, yeah. to it. Yeah. I, I love the way sort of Porsche they keep the the car looking absolutely classically styled. Just tease out ever so slightly more modern yep. styling yeah. details a little bit at a time. It's really nice. Yeah, and this is uh, has now got the wide wider body a standard previous generations of 911 they had the sort of narrower body on the um sort of more entry level spec cars and then your gt3s and your um the four wheel drive ones often as well had the like, wider arches mm. but these are all now super fat from the get-go <laughs> uh so yeah loads more tire loads more grip great should we implode it and, and get in yeah check nice. out the inside there we go. So Very nice. Porsche's always had the, the classic set of dials in front of you. Uh, mm. These have now migrated to uh, digital dashes. Uh, so only the rev counter is the sort of the standard dial. Yeah, but yeah. let's see if we can turn that on. Steady hand. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be careful you don't press the horn around the stage. Yeah. <laughs> there, goes, and there so we go. Yeah, so those yeah, dials all, all work in game. I just don't see it in the real car. It's cool. It's a really cool car, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see a few more of those in the real world as well as in uh, Horizon 4 soon mm. because uh, they're coming in the, in the coming months. Yeah. It was, when was it unveiled? It was, uh, uh, unveiled in November at LA Auto Show and should start seeing them be beginning of this year uh, in Europe. Great, and which, which uh, season of the update will players be able to get uh, This is summer. This summer, is the first so this, one. Is, this will be this week, this, this week's Thursday. And Excellent. alongside another Porsche, the 968 Turbo. Awesome, cool. What are we going to look at next, guys? 
uh, we're going to go for a bit of old school British car culture. Uh, we, we honoured that quite a lot with uh, Horizon 3 being in Australia. There was quite a lot of Australian cars that yeah. we put in. Um, I know that you spent a lot of time working on those. Yeah. Uh, that ended up being some real fan favourites, like the, the Sandman, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's nice that... Great, um, a great painter's car, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's got yeah. This canvas on the side. That's, that's, a, that's a lovely tie into this next car. <laughs> there you go. The, the gigantic slab-sided <laughs> uh, Ford Transit, the original Mark One. Uh, let's jump in this. Excellent. There we go. Uh, so uh, for those outside of Britain, I suppose it might not have such significance, but for us as Brits, uh, the Transits are just part of our culture. Like um, Britain was built in Ford Transits, you know, <laughs> as it were. Um, uh, there's that, that, that traditional uh, design of it. Um, it was meant so that you could get two pallets in the back that mm. was their sort of load capacity and it's famous for being uh, the transit that um the, the first van that was more like a car for the driver mm -hmm. uh, so instead of having the engine like you, you're almost sitting on top of it and you're the afterthought the driver was actually sort of thought about um you know so it's a more pleasant experience to own and drive uh so uh it's, it's really good for that it's uh, another famous uh, stat that, um 1972 scotland yard which is where the sort of the head of police were said that 95% of bank jobs involved a Ford Transit. Uh, <laughs> so that is uh, another testament to their drivability. People getting, you know, really extracting the full potential from the Transit. And presumably because they were so commonplace on the roads, it meant you would blend in once, yeah, you, yeah, once you found the motorway. Say, I mean, it's, yeah. Oh God, there's hundreds of the, the phrase white van man, yeah, you sort yeah. of, you know, you blend in with everybody else. But uh, I know that uh, you, you've put a few uh, upgrades on this one as well. Yeah, so you can give this uh, a nice seven litre V8 <laughs> off of a certain Ford race car from the 1960s. Yeah. Um, so you can make it go as well. Yeah. Yeah. Can, it, can it touch S2? Can it, uh... I don't know. Probably not, I'm afraid. <laughs> Probably S1. I mean, it's, sorry, sorry, it's sorry, not so really got downforce, so it's yeah, not yeah. going to get to S2. Cool. Um, so uh, that's a really cool car. I love the uh, I love the detail on the back as well. I think that's mm, really great to see. Yeah, really nice. And the the sliding doors as well. It'd be great if uh, if you could have those open as you were driving. I think it's a little <laughs> bit of a safety concern. Yeah. So uh, I think we have that. Uh, should we? Uh, should we take a look cool. at? Well, uh, yeah. well, sorry. Which season will this one be in? Uh, this is in spring. Spring season five. Cool. So, All right. So a little bit of a wait for that one still, um, but it'll be coming out in this coming update. What else have we got, guys? Okay. Right. So another one, the Mustang Fastback. Uh, uh, this, yeah, this is the car from Bullet. Um, mm -hmm. You can actually put the parts from the Bullet car on this one. It's really cool. So you can pretend to be Steve McQueen after yeah. you're done pretending to rob banks. Awesome. Yeah, it seems, uh, it seems like Ford are pushing that. Limit. I noticed there's a special edition yeah, 2019, 2019 Mustang one, yeah. with uh, a Bullet edition. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been yep. hovering over the, the test drive button lately. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Need to find some nice sort of steep, jumpy yeah. roads to have a, a proper <laughs> test drive for that. Uh, so that's a really cool one. Uh, we love that. Uh, another British classic there, the Hillman Imp. Uh, so that's uh, another car that was uh, is actually built quite locally. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot yep. of classic culture. I know that uh, you got a bit of history for us. Well, they were built in Scotland. Oh, these ones built in yeah, Scotland. Yeah, they were okay, built in Scotland. Right, the Hillman. Uh, the Hillman so are a car com uh, yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is like a competitor to the Mini, um, but weirdly rear-engined. So one of the few British cars that's rear-engined. Uh, yeah. Really cool car. Um, you can also, in the, much like the theme of the Transit, you can do the opposite. You can put police lights on this one and make <laughs> it into a little rally car as well. So it's really cool upgrades on that one. There we go, so that's another one. Uh, next one is a bit of a unicorn, the uh, NSX RGT. Uh, so there was only five of these uh, in the whole of the world. Uh, nobody really knows where any of them are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was built uh, to homologate the, uh, the GT version right. of the NSX. Uh, so it's got that really iconic scoop on the roof, which uh, on the road cars uh, actually didn't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> it was just but um, on the race car was uh, absolutely purposeful to get all that cold air channeled in. Right. Uh, there were a load of other things that Honda did to the car, but nobody knows what they are because uh, <laughs> there were, you know, no one's had hands on with them to actually know. But the the ten ten guys have uh, faithfully recreated it for us here. Beautiful. Uh, so so if no one knows how to drive it, Chris, how did you, how did you make it drive like like the real car? Yeah, secret, secret. Oh, yeah. secret. He, he channels secret. the spirit <laughs> of the NSX. <laughs> Uh, Channel so, my inner Santa. Yeah, so that's a really cool one. Uh, uh, their rewards. Rewards cars there. The, the Hot Wheels Mustang, that's a really cool one. I love mm. that. Yeah, really beautiful livery on there. Yeah, it's another reward yeah, car I'll there. Tell you, another reward one, yeah. The Mercedes Pagoda 280 SL. That's a really cool car. It's kind of got that uh, Elvis Presley vibe to it. So uh, that's, that's going to be a really nice. cool car to, uh, to cruise around the summer in, in particular, I think. The classic look. The 1929 Mercedes Benz, Chris. The Super Sport something, <laughs> Kurt Baker Kurt. Roadster. Barker. Barker. <laughs> yep. That's a ridiculously long name for a car. Yeah. But that's cool. Another bit of pre-war, well, old school, you know, 
So uh, we don't have many of those. It's, it's always no. nice to get more yeah. like, really, really old cool. vintage yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. in. It's I really think. cool, that car. It looks amazing as well, doesn't it? There's great loads of photo opportunities, I think, with the different filters you can put on as well. Yeah. And make yeah. it feel all, get, get a nice little sepia grain on it. Yeah. Uh, Opal Cadet 1963. Uh, if you didn't have an Escort, you might have had one of these. So uh, that's, uh, it's more of a sort of continental uh, thing. So the Europeans might know a little bit more about this than us. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we really, really did love our Ford Escorts over <laughs> here. Uh, so uh, it were not quite as popular to sell. And then the last one that we've got, the 968 Turbo S, which is uh, the, the final evolution, I suppose, of the, uh, the 944 generation Porsches. They so much changed on it between that model, the 944, they decided to completely just relaunch it as the 968. Mm. But uh, yeah, so that's got a, a three litre four cylinder, which is actually quite rare, uh, mm. how big that yeah, engine yeah, is for, for a four cylinder that you yeah, normally yeah. associate. Like if you had, for example, an Evo, it's like a two litre turbo petrol, but this is a three litre four cylinder turbo. So mm. that's pretty, like pretty most crazy. three litres would be a yeah, six cylinder or bigger, like a flat six Porsche. Cool. So uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty eclectic and exciting selection. It's the community is wall riding, as the community would call it. Um, do you want to talk to us about what's going to be changing there? In, in yeah, the so we're, we are looking at it. Uh, hopefully, in the next update or two, we're going to have a fix just for online, like competitive mm -hmm. racing. We're not going to change it anywhere else. Yeah. Um, we're going to we're looking to slow cars down when they're doing it and ghost them so they don't uh, cause any uh, collisions with anyone right. else. So that no one else gets caught up in someone trying to do it. Great. So that's not update five. That hopefully update six. But that's again, it's a, for, yeah. it's a physics change, so requires quite a lot of testing before we can really release it to the to the public. Uh, I think it's important to note with the wall wall riding, as it as it is termed, the current behaviour is absolutely intentional. It's yeah. been the same across all of the games, yeah. and uh, it, it really is for novice players. It's meant for you know it, it might very well be the first time you've played a racing game, in which case slamming into the wall and having it sort of be shaped and have friction that bounces you back onto the road facing about the right way is is really desirable behaviour. Unfortunately, people can then use that behaviour in top level competitive multiplayer to well. To, to drive in what is a non-traditional, unfair way. Um, so hopefully these changes should address that. And I know people have been asking for it a lot, so it'll be really great to get that fix out to people. Uh, while we're talking about upcoming fixes, there's a few others we, wanna, we, should, we should just quickly touch on. Um, blueprint searching. Um, uh, we, we released uh, Blueprint Roots about two, two months ago. Uh, and we, we, you had the ability to search for them, but not really to go really down to fine detail. We, we couldn't search via a gamer tag, for example. Um, that'll be fixed now, so there'll be much better searching options on those. Um, there's another a really minor fix for um, season events. Uh, it wasn't always super clear which cars you could use going into those. Uh, you'll now be able to hit a button on the on the menu when you're first going into that event, and it'll show you all of the cars that are eligible. So you don't get caught out where you think you've got a car that should be eligible, you buy all the upgrades for it, and then you find out that it can't go into that. Um, there is another thing that we do need to talk about, which isn't such great news, um, and probably needs an apology from us, uh, which is custom brake calipers. Uh, we did a, a lot of work on this. We, did, we really did try, uh, we got very, very close to having yeah. it finished, at which point we found that, um, we needed to load up every single car in the game and do a, a little bit of work on every single car. It wasn't a huge amount, but it meant adding a node and doing some tweaks, um, which would have been you know, around about an hour and a half per car. And an hour and a half doesn't sound a lot until you have 550 cars, in which case it becomes literally man months of work in order for us to support that. Uh, and that kind of work then would really eat into the other things we were able to offer. Um, so, and, and additionally, um, it would have been about a 10 or 11 gigabyte download that we would have had to give you because you would have to re-download every car in the game. Uh, so we've elected to, uh, to, like, to push that back for now. Um, we will still want to do that at some point in the future, but um, unfortunately it's going to be very difficult for us to do it this time because like I said, it's, it's way more work than we thought just because of, of a last minute snag on it really. So uh, really sorry to have misled people on that. but. Um, through these streams, we're really trying to give you guys a view of the stuff that we're doing. So we're telling you things really earlier than we ever would have previously. And I guess this is just a, a symptom of that, that sometimes we're going to re reveal our hand too early and then find out later that we can't quite do what we needed to. So yeah, really sorry about that, guys. I know some people are going to be really disappointed about that. Uh, we're about to take a look at Aisha's Taxis, which is a brand new Horizon business. Uh, businesses are kind of like stories, but they have a the, the cool alternate twist on them, which you have to pay in order to get them. This one is 100,000 credits. And then off of the back of that, um, you then, every time you log into the game, you, make a, you, you get a payment based on how many of these stars you've managed to earn in it. So, um, Should we go? Matt, yeah, Matt's at the wheel, jump right in. Cool. 
Yeah, so the, kind of, the story here is Joel has, Joel has a friend called Aisha who, who's trying to start this taxi business. The aim of the taxi business is to be the world's fastest so taxi your business. So went well? Um, it did. And oh, yeah, so basically you'll, you'll, tra you'll travel the, the length and breadth of the country, picking up lots of colourful characters, all of which have got a, a quite cool and quirky personality traits, and you'll have to get them to, to their destination. So yeah, as you see, always on time, I should talk to you. So don't mess it up, Matt. <laughs> no pressure, all right? <laughs> but um, you've, you've wasted six seconds looking at that. <laughs> it's fine, I'll fair. I can wait a second. Because um, this taxi is fast. Yeah, this, uh, so yeah, so this is not the first, the first, the first mission you do is just in a, a stock Austin FX4 taxi. Um, and and you, you're able to complete that one, it's fine, but then Aisha feels that in order to really push, push the boat out and, and really achieve that goal of being the world's fastest tax company, it's some choice upgrades. So this one's got the engine from a, a Ferrari F50 GT, um, which <laughs> gives it a bit of a kick, <laughs> to say the least. And this amazing body kit on it as well. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that at first, yeah, you're right. Um, so just heading into Ambleside now, uh, picking up this fare. Yep. And it's, it's very uh, in the style of Horizon, isn't it, to, uh, to stick a crazy engine in a taxi? It is, it is, of course, it's not. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> Un unlike real life, the, the speed traps here give you fame and fortune rather than pe uh, penalty points on your license, so <laughs> why not stick a Ferrari engine in a taxi? Next fare is a London cab driver. So, so as I show, is helpfully teed up there. Uh, this, this chap that we're giving a lift to is himself a taxi driver, and he's quite strongly opinionated on on how a taxi should be run. And he's going to start off by letting us know that we're not quite up to snuff. <laughs> but as long as. Uh, See, my day, taxi driving oh, yeah. I'll do my best to impress him. Now it's all smartphones and touch screens, though, isn't it? Bit of wheel spin off the line. Sounds like he should be advertising better. Let's see you get me to Hyde House. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I go through London traffic like a hot knife through butter, but I've got the skill and the experience, don't I? Yeah, so he's, uh, he starts off quite cocky, doesn't he, thinking that you don't know what you're doing. You, you're a... Uh, you're new to the taxi game, and in truth, probably are new to the taxi game, but you've got a, a car with a, a bit of a secret weapon. Yeah, that's right. And we're not limited to uh, the roads here, am I? Actually, <laughs> cut across country. Would you say this is quicker? Well, yeah, it feels if you quicker. Tree. It's probably quicker if you don't roll it. <laughs> there's, there's, there is always that risk. Okay. There we go. I'm going for the three stars. Do you know what the goal is for three stars? Yeah. Uh, 20, I think. I'm about to say, it seems about one and a half, I think. Ooh. The goal is to go really fast, I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things about these ones that uh, adds, adds an extra little bit of spice is uh, that you can't overshoot the ending. You have to come to a stop at the end location. Yep. I think, I think you've impressed him. Did you um, get three stars though? Yeah, you did. You did. did. <laughs> In the bag. Top driver. Nailed it. Ten out of ten. <laughs> well, three out of three. Five out of seven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all, all of the perfect scores. So. <laughs> um, that's going to load us back. Um, yes, yeah, so I think, like I said, we. We've got quite a few more stories in the can, and there's quite a few coming over the next few updates. But this is one that I think we've been really excited about since mm. since the very start of the uh, of development. We we had this idea for this feature, and um, and this was the very first one that we wrote up into a feature. It was uh, this. It was I think the, the goal was given to us: if you can make taxi driving fun, then we believe in the feature, and you'll be able to <laughs> yeah. make all the other stuff fun. Was this the one you wanted to it do? It was next? the Edinburgh run. Yes, let's, let's go. go. Nice. So the good thing about this one is it's not all about just getting there in the shortest amount of time possible, is it? This passenger wants to go as fast as possible, doesn't mind about the time so much, it's all about the speed skills, right? Exactly, yeah, so it's all about finding those straight roads and absolutely flooring it. What am I talking about? Aisha's taxis comes to a standstill without you. Sorry, but can we please get back to basics? Taking people from point A to point B very, very quickly. Can you imagine if you were waiting for a taxi and they turned up in a race suit and a helmet? <laughs> like, um, <laughs> you'd be questioning the safety. <laughs> right, well, 
then again, there's probably some stuff in our character customizer that would really make you question your safety more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. chicken suit. <laughs> some gold help I'm sure that's going to happen. <laughs> I look forward to seeing the pictures on Reddit. Yeah, so one of the uh, one of the great things as well about this story, which I'm sure will really, really please people, um, is that in order for completing this, for getting all the stars in this story, you will earn this car, the uh, the Austin FX4, which up to this point had been exclusive to Wheelspin and as such, very, very, very difficult to get hold of and mm. fetching over 10 million on the auction house. So if you already got one, I would say that I would suggest that you sell it on the auction house now. <laughs> Pro tip, Do this inside as soon as possible. <laughs> It's not insider trading because it's public now. But um, <laughs> when I sold mine last week, it probably was insider trading. <laughs> I didn't really do that. I didn't really do that. Should be clear. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you already own one, sell it. If you don't already own one, don't buy it. Wait until this update, and you can earn it through gameplay uh, in this story. Apparently, they like to watch motor racing together. Yeah, so this fair is an absolute speed demon, and as Matt, as Matt queued up earlier, she wants you to earn speed skills on the way, so uh, let's, let's test, test Matt's metal. Yep. And <laughs> so this one I probably do want to stick to the roads to make sure I can get up to speed. Yeah, so I think speed is 150 miles an hour for uh, five seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would you say that's the easiest skill speed? Uh, speed skill, even. Well, you can, yeah, for, it depends on how fast you're going, so I think it's 150, 175. Oh, okay. 190, 200, I can't remember the exact boundaries for them, but yeah, there's different different speeds that you're going, you hold that speed for a certain number of seconds and it gives you the scale. Yep. So we've got so. this wind a bit at the beginning, once we get onto the uh, other so side of the, the, uh, the reservoir we can open it up a bit. Can just blitz it. Yeah. So I'll say open it up a bit, I'm already doing 150 miles an hour in a taxi. So. Uh, LaFerrari16 Jr. Uh, has obviously missed the start of the stream and is asking if these race suits are coming to the game. Uh, Matt, you answered that earlier, so I'll let I you did. answer it again. Yes, we've added some uh, modern race suits and helmets. They're going to be uh, available in the Forzathon shop and in some of our seasonal championships that are coming up in Series 5 as rewards. So get them while they're hot. Yeah, yeah they won't be, for, won't be around forever, so make sure you don't miss out on those. Uh, El Darioth. Wow, how many regional voices is Sports are going to give us? Can't be many left. Oh, we've got loads left in the can. Do not worry, do not worry. The, the UK does not disappoint when you need to source extra regional accents. Yeah, <laughs> There's many more where this came from. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it was something we wanted to do in this, in this uh, story in particular. We wanted to uh, give, give life to all the different uh, co colourful dialects and stuff that you find in the UK. So we roped in a lot of extra actors and had them all do different, different <laughs> accents and stuff to, uh, to, to just make these feel like you're really travelling the length and breadth of the country. So I got up to like 200 miles an hour there. Oh, nice. Three miles. Uh, I must say, I'd be a bit worried if uh, <laughs> I was in a taxi doing 200 miles per hour. Well, no, it's like that. You've, well, that's the aim for this you've one. Call, you've called Ashes Taxi. Yeah, you know what you've yeah, signed yeah, up yeah, for. Well, there has been time. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is chapter nine in the story, by which point Ashes Taxi has become really renowned and people thrill seekers because they're coming from the world over to, to, so to, be driven by, yeah, to be driven by you because you've become really famous. So. Uh, it starts off and you really terrify people, and then it, by the end of the by the end of the story, you're being sought out in particular because some thrill ride. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No. So I'm just looking at the clock. I think we have time, so we're going to finish this chapter. We'll have time for one more, and that'll probably be all we've got time to show on uh, on this new story. But do not worry, and um, if you're with us, if you're with if you're with us live, then the um, then turn, then turn 10 over in Seattle, I've got our friend Torben Ella over there. Oh, we'll be, no. oh no! no. <laughs> let's, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> we'll be doing an even bigger deep dive on this, on this feature, and we'll be showing you a few more chapters and be able to really talk into the, the genesis of how, how this came to be in the game. So, uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. Keep watching us. The uh, Forza Multi stream over in Seattle follows us directly after this stream. Three stars. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do it. What that time? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two stars. Two stars. Oh man. Put myself down. Only two. Yeah. There's only one speed skill off. Getting the third one. Never mind. 
which is something coming in uh, update six, isn't it? Not in update five, um, but as as you'll probably be aware if you played this feature, uh, it doesn't update to show you the next objective. So once That's you've good qualified for the the first star objective, it doesn't show you objective two, which. I think you'll probably appreciate it. It has been super annoying, really. It's, been, it's certainly <laughs> bothered me when I've played it. So uh, happy to announce that that'll be coming in the in update six, so in, in the next update, which should, should make getting those top scores a yeah. little bit easier, I think. And am I right in saying we're going to add the ability to look at the, the leaderboards? Yes, as well, yeah. So currently, the, the way to get to the leaderboard means you have to uh, complete the story and then do it at the end, whereas we're going to add it so you'll be able to jump to it from this screen, which, again, just make your life a little bit easier when you're trying to, trying to t take part in these horizon kind of stories. So... Um, so the two we've looked at so far both used the, uh, the Ferrari F50 GT engine and were yep. both super high-powered taxis, but that's not what, all that this is about. Um, so this one is a, it's been kitted out to basically be a rally monster, hasn't it? So it's got really fat tires, <laughs> yeah. uh, a, ra a rally engine. You really do need the helmet for this one. Yes, you do. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this is one of the great things we've been able to do with this story, I think, is that each chapter sort of uh, fit in its own little, own little niche and off its own little type of gameplay, which you probably wouldn't expect from a, uh, a taxi machine in a game. I think it really does pack, pack in a load of surprises. So, um, obviously, we've just shown you a few of the chapters here. There's loads more in the, in the final thing you'll be able to play on Thursday, I think I'm right saying. Yes. Yes. Well, the update drops Tuesday. The update drops Tuesday, story goes live Thursday. Is that right? I think so. Looking for, looking for, looking say, for confirmation. A lot, of, a lot of people have been asking. Goes live with the update. It goes live on ah, Tuesday. There you go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you'll be able to play this tomorrow once this update comes out. Um, yep, have at it. Talk, let us know what you think. Um, Hiya, I'm headed for a house on Derwent Water, please. First day and night at the festival have been incredible. Now it's time for the after party. Right, so this, this fair needs to get to the after party. Mm. Super fast. And she's called you to get her there, so... She's all miss out on them drinks. <laughs> uh, Non-alcoholic drinks. This is a, oh, yeah. a, three, a three plus game. <laughs> so, we, we cannot imply alcoholic usage. Uh, <coughs> oh dear. Non-alcoholic fruit punch, I think. Could be a lamp party. Could be a good lamp party. So I'm going oh, to go on this road. Ooh, nice. Guess what are you doing? I'm, I I'm a madman. <laughs> <laughs> Chooses his own roads. <laughs> And then you you, I hope you know what you're doing. I'm about to say, I, will you get here in time? Yeah. Can't make a late. I'm going to put the off road kit to good use at the very end. Ooh. We're dodging all the trees, you see. Oh, <laughs> not the cars, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, everyone, Matt's gone completely off script here. This wasn't, this was, this was, this wasn't planned for. If it goes wrong, he's, he's himself to blame. Here we go. Look, this is where you get. This is where you cut across. I'm ah, you, there we go. Giving you some pro tips here. That's, that's tips of the day. <laughs> the trees are less dense here, so although this Ooh. has every opportunity to go <laughs> to go very wrong. We're fine, we, we made we it. Managed to hold Somehow that. we that was, made it. That was close. <laughs> totally meant to do that. Planned it. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's Aisha's taxis. Uh, as I said, that will be going live tomorrow. <laughs>